Welcome back, family. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Live. What just popped me? Was this this? I don't <laughs> headphones tripping. But welcome back to another episode, y'all. And it's it's today. Oh man, I don't even know what to, I don't even know where to start. Like it's been it's been crazy, y'all. But today is is really it was really different. It was really but, but before we get things started, welcome to another episode of Live with Brian, y'all. Thank y'all so much for the shares. Thank y'all so much for the likes, the follows, everything. I know I'm a little late today. I'm about almost 10 minutes late. And y'all be expecting me at 3.15. But I mean, you know, I had I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm late. But I will say this. Um, yesterday's live was when I got off of it yesterday, y'all left me with a new sense of adoration and respect for y'all. Not to say that I didn't respect y'all before, not not to say that, you know, I didn't really care for y'all, nothing like that before, but it's just it just goes to show that when you're being genuine, when you're being transparent, whenever you're actually being yourself and you walking into the things you're supposed to walk into, that's whenever all the natural things start happening. Not one time did I tell y'all to like, oh yeah, throw gifts at me and we're doing the gift challenge and blah, 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 blah. And it's like the more we talked on said topics about yesterday, which we will continue today, um, the gifts was rolling in, the files was rolling in, you know, like the it translated uh, through to my page, the followers and came, the came and stuff like that. Like, I'm just, I'm grateful, bro. Like, I, I'm beyond grateful for everything that's been happening and y'all just keep rocking with me. But, like I said before, welcome back to another episode. We don't have no house rules, y'all. For all the new people that's up in here, my name is Coach Brian. I'm a holistic trainer and coach. Yes, we do. I do come on here. We talk about live Q&As. We talk about holistic everything, but we also talk about life. Just because I specialize in herbology and stuff like that doesn't mean that I don't go through everyday life and y'all don't go through everyday life. So the one thing I ask y'all to do is see this little meter up here, get to tapping on the screen, and whenever that thing gets full, you can stop. That's the only job you got. That's the only task I give you every episode. That's the only thing I ask for. It pushes me further into the algorithm. It's y'all way of showing love to me, and it's just great. Um, before we get started, cause I'm and I'm gonna plug myself again later, but just right now, if y'all want to see any of my products, or blah 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 blah, all that type of stuff, who I am, all that good stuff, CoachBrian.com. I'll click the link in my bio. Other than that, let's get started. So we left off yesterday. Um, I was hungry, but we left off yesterday on one of the greatest, not debates. Oh, we had 105. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and y'all follow my top three of, uh, screen likers and gifters right now, because I'm seeing we already at 115, so I don't even have to wait to do it. We can do it right now. My top three, y'all go follow them real quick. They, they right here. Y'all go follow them. Well, actually top four, top five. Hello. What's going on? But, um, last, last we left off yesterday, we was on the, the war of man versus woman. Right. And I feel as though we ended that topic or we ended parts of that topic with a really, really, really good pin in the board, I guess you could say. But one thing that I've really been thinking about is not the duality, but the polarity when it comes down to man and woman. So, and somebody real quick, look up what the angel numbers 111 means. Somebody looked it up and put it in the comment section for me real quick. But um, I say all that to say, I don't know if y'all been seeing that viral video that's going on right now, but there's a guy who um flew a girl out. I forgot, I forgot where she was from, but it's a little distance. She had to fly to get there. He flew her out to Los Angeles. And of course, he flew out to get the cheeks. He, if y'all saw my storyline today, today uh, I talked about like women with y'all, blah blah blah. We're gonna get to that. But he flew her out, right? You know, apparently, according to the story, from what I know, they've had um a bunch of they had like a few days. You know what? It was FaceTiming together at times prior to that, flirting, talking, and rah rah rah, all that good type of stuff. And then he finally flies her out to LA. So she gets there. You know, apparently, according to him, she's walking around naked. You know, they they you know they romanticizing each other, blah 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 blah. But she didn't want to give him the cheeks. And he said, he told her, he was like, the reason why I even flew you out here to begin with is because I wanted them cheeks. You get you, I, I wanted to clap them cheeks. And she was like, nah, like you lame, that's not happening. And according to today, because we talked about high mind society and pop culture and all that type of stuff yesterday, who do y'all feel like is in the wrong? Because on one side of social media, I'm seeing people saying, well, she shouldn't have entertained him like that. Y'all FaceTiming, y'all sending body parts and blah, 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 blah. So if a guy flies you out, I mean, it's it's anticipated that this, that, and the third. But on the other side, people are saying, well, that's her coochie. She could do what she want to do with her coochie. And just because y'all romanticizing or whatever doesn't mean that he's, he's uh, what's the word? Uh, he's whatever the word is, but he has the right to even demand or even expect coochie from her. So what side do y'all pick? Because here's where I'm at with the situation. 
I feel as though in real life, because you know stuff like to get dramatic, dramaticized and all that type of stuff, well, dramatized, what I should say, on social media. We don't even know if that's really a skit or not, because the whole thing with the child with McDonald's, that was a whole skit, and that took the world by storm. But where I'm at with the situation is that, in real, at least what's real life to me, whenever you're talking to, imagine you talking to somebody, y'all dating, you know, y'all going, y'all living your life, and this, that, and the third, you know, y'all flirting or whatever, y'all FaceTiming, y'all cooking and all of that. And my thing is like, if that's what we're doing, and let's say I do fly you out, because that's my choice. Let's say I do fly you out to come out here. Me personally, would it be nice if I get to clap them cheeks? Definitely. But it's like, I don't, I don't fly you out with that notion. I don't fly you out with that expectation because one, we don't, we don't, we don't. We're, for what I know, they're not dating, but we're not dating. But even if we were dating, it's like. I mean, I would expect, I would like, but I can't demand. I, my thing is like, if I was, if I want to, essentially, because I mean, if you want to be honest about it, it's it's underneath the umbrella of paying for those activities, paying for. Cause I don't know if I could use that word, and then they before they flag me or not on here. But like, you're paying you as he thought as though he was paying for what he wanted. And where I'm at is like, if that's what you wanted, you could have paid for that. You know, now granted, I know you wanted from her, but it's like, if you wanted that, you could have paid for that. If you thought that flying somebody out is that like you find somebody like that you know and uh, i'm seeing somebody say it was a skit but definitely a good conversation uh starter and see what i'm saying like any and even but even though it's a skit i feel like those skits and those dramatized situations you know is like they have truth in it and they have concepts that we actually need to chew on because it's like you have a lot of people and and in my in my opinion when it comes out to real life is like people go through this on a day to day basis. This is just the skit or the things that we we just so happen to see on social media that we, you know what I'm saying. So it's like somebody said, could could you flip the scenario and say she expects him to pay for meals and he says no? And that's what I was actually about to dive into because I had put on my Instagram earlier. I was like, well, ladies, would you fly a guy out? Because I saw I saw just as many men and women kind of flipping out about the situation that she honestly didn't let him clap, which was which the part that blew my mind. But I will say this. I say that if say the situation was to be flipped, it's it's to me at least, it's like, well, what in real life? What women that we well or what women do we personally know? And and I'm going off of like the things that we're seeing on social media, the mindset that most women are portraying. I ain't gonna say have that, they are portraying and they're putting on social media. Um instinctual behavior to begin with our natural behaviors like what women or what popularity of women do we have out here you know what i'm saying that's like actually doing that because the, the comment section was going crazy and i was like okay what's the truth we have what people are saying and what they want to say but like what's the truth somebody said so what was the end goal to just cuddle <laughs> because as a woman he was gonna drop <laughs> and, and that's what i'm getting at it's like naturally you know what i'm saying it, it, it's like Especially if you're flying somebody out, whether it be, you know, one way or the other way. To me, it's like if that's what was happening in, in, uh, in the culture that we live in today, I mean, it, that's typically what happens. But is she wrong? I guess my question to y'all is, is she wrong? Or what is the sense of or what sense do y'all even get in general for her even denying him that? Based off of what we know or what the skit entails, as far as like they've, they've been FaceTiming and flirting and he, they've been showing body parts and romanticizing each other. Like, what's y'all take on it? Somebody said she should have her own money no matter what. I agree. If I'm depressed and anxious, how come I can't come out? Okay, we're going to dive into those two two different things in a second. Uh, what you mean, can you join? As far as like, uh, get on the I don't know. Let me see. Because, well, no. No, because I have the, I don't know. I might have to change the headphone situation and see. You talking about like let, we, we'll try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let me change. Let me change the setup real quick. Mic check. Mic check. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can even hear you to begin with because I might have to switch the, the mic. Hi. Can you hear me? There we go. Yep. I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can very well. Perfect. All right. So they put uh make sure you put your camera on. You gotta go to the little bottom part, I believe, what with, with the same place you requested to come on live at. And it should okay. have like a little camera or a settings option or whatever. Let's okay. see how that's rolling. Let's see. Uh, it's about to be good. Okay. Not y'all coming on the live with me. I'm here for it. Okay. I'm uh, about to put on my hair scarf. Um 
you know, and now I have to. Wrap but my you do have the option to put your camera on, right? Yes, I just found it. Okay, cool, perfect. Okay, I think I just did it now. There we go. Let's 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 right. see what's happening. Right. What's happening? Well, first, first of all, before we continue, welcome, welcome to the live with Brian. Thank I'm glad you. That you're able to come on the episode. Um, y'all follow her. Y'all give us some comments before the conversation even start, and let's just see where we at with it. Let's talk. Okay, so I wanted to um, answer the question that you had asked about mm-hmm. was she wrong or was the situation right or whatever. To mm-hmm. me, I feel like. First and foremost, I was the comment that said she should have had her money regardless. But I feel as if sometimes the situation can change. Um, As a woman, I've been put in a situation like that where I was entertaining a guy. I really enjoyed him. He was he was an awesome guy on the phone. Once I was there where he was, uh, the energy switched very fast. Mm -hmm. So because of the energy, it was like, uh. Whatever I thought I wanted to do in a process as being a woman or dating. The whole vibe didn't change. The whole vibe changed. So it wasn't as if I was going there with intent not to do something. It was Mm -hmm. going there with intent just to let everything flow the way it should. Not intentionally holding back. But once the energy changed, it was like, okay, wait, this is different. I don't... Mm -hmm. You're so not so that like brings me to a question. Phone. That that brings me to a question. Okay, so in your mind or from your perspective, what's the difference between letting it naturally get to that point mm-hmm. or that's the main expectation as far as his his um his actions towards you? And that and and that that's exactly what it was. His main expectation. Once I got there, mm-hmm. it was like, oh, okay, yeah. So now you hear it is, you know, it's almost like getting you in a, mm-hmm. in a court. And whatever, Wait, say, say it again. It's like almost getting you in their side of the court. Like, yeah, if okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't yeah, have definitely. nobody to fall back on nine times out of ten, or mm-hmm. anything like that. But you got that. You you got to have your own money. So if they do cancel a trip, Agreed. or something Like that, you got your own hotel. You got your own money, and hell, you might be able to fly your friend out. Now it's a whole big trip. facts. But, and see, and that's what I want to get into. And before we even continue, y'all, if y'all want to do what uh, you identify as she, right? Yes. Okay, so I, I just got to ask because you know they'd be canceling people. No, I'm the pronouns. I get it. Yeah. But um, but she um, she requested at the bottom if y'all want to go live too and like interact, ask questions, y'all can do that. I'm gonna get to y'all as I get to y'all. But um, I just want to put that out there. But con- but continue to what you was about to say. Yeah. So basically, I just feel like um, it's the expectations of yeah once you get here this is what that's all it's about most mm-hmm. men when they fly women out that's all it's about like seriously so women mm-hmm. have to have the discernment to say mm-hmm. how are you really playing this are you telling me everything I want to hear over the phone and making me feel all these different amazing ways and content but once I get mm-hmm. there are you going to Still continue to make me feel content, happy, and comfortable with allowing mm-hmm. my body to flow in that process. Mm-hmm. See, with a but woman, I, can so I be honest different. with you? I feel, I feel as though, like, to to me, to me, and I no, could be ahead. wrong. I feel as though it's a gamble to begin with because let's it let's is. say let's paint the scenario. Y'all mm-hmm. been talking online. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no, I get to see you. And even with, they even got some creeps that be like, they see you day to day, but they know how to put that face on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yep. to me, it's like, it's a gamble to begin with. And I agree with you. Mm-hmm. You should go out there with your own money. You should mm-hmm. be prepared. Not to say, not, mm-hmm. not in hopes that things go awry, but you should right. be out, out there to be prepared that, okay, well, I got, and you know, I, I can't say the word on here because they'll flag me, but y- I'm, a, I'm a big advocate of pew pew safety. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel as though all of those things, because it, it's a gamble. You going out there, it is, and we are, and we already know the statistics when it comes down to the R word. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you should go out there prepared. I ain't gonna say expecting Ooh. the worst, but prepared but for prepared. the worst. Prepared, exactly. Right, because to me, in in my personal opinion, because I I have been in a long distance relationship before, but yeah. it's like even in that, it's like if there's no sense of mutual expectancy and routine mm-hmm. and comfort mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like, I don't care if I flew you out. It's like, I, me personally, I'm just not that type of person. I'm not mm-hmm. going to expect 
the, the to clap the cheeks off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But at the same time, especially like in the society that we live in, the first thing comes to my mind if I'm if I'm flying a shorty out. And granted, I'm in a happy, loving relationship. But I'm mm-hmm. but we're speaking hypothetically. In this climate, in this day and age, and stuff like that, the first thing on my mind is making sure. Like the the last thing I want to do is well the the first the la- the first thing I, I don't want to do is bring her to my house or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it's mm-hmm. like you don't know you don't really know me know me and then I didn't flew you out. Like, can we go eat? Can we go sit down? Can you get used to the area first? Because, exactly. like, if you get there and, you, and the first thing I do is come to the crib, it's like, you, you not only are you on my terms, but you really in my domain now. So, exactly. like, once that... Because a lot of people like to be like, oh, well, we talk, is comfortable, blah, blah, blah. But once that door is closed and it's locked, no telling what's going to happen. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. Exactly. And, and on top of that, if you already have that apprehension in general, if you had to think about it, in, in my opinion, once again, in my opinion, mm-hmm. if you had to think about that to begin with, I don't think that was the best decision for you to make. Exactly. And, you know, with on my side, I had knew the person for years um, that flew me out. Been around in person and everything. Had a good vibe, but never alone with the person. Mm-hmm. So that's a different, that's different too, when you are never right. alone with somebody. You get what I'm saying? Now, this, this now, brings me to another question, and we could flip gears a little bit, but mm-hmm. and are you comfortable with, with me asking some more questions? Yes. So this brings me to this to this quick, I mean, quick little thought. And it's not it's not a reflection of how I believe in things, but it's just a question. So uh-huh. how because this has me thinking about the actual worth of beauty, right? Uh-huh. Are the are the I hate to say I, I hate using the word pretty privilege, but you get what I'm saying. It's like, so it's how would privilege. you feel as though and, and the, okay, then that's what I'm about to get into. So one, do you believe in that? But two. How do you feel as though the relation, when it comes down to... Because I oftentimes think about scenarios like this, and then I think about the people who don't have the quote-unquote privilege to be, to even be, I hate to say it like this, but to like have position, access to, to that. Have to deal with you that. know what I'm saying? So like, mm-hmm. how do you feel about that weighing on, like, as far as though... Because I'm thinking about, when I see the response, I'm thinking about everybody. I'm trying to think about everybody's perspective. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel as though that comes off or, or like, that whole idea in general with somebody who doesn't have pretty privilege? Uh, I hate the whole pretty privilege thing because um, I see beauty in all God's, you know, creations, but because we do live in this type of world, you know, society of pretty, ugly, whatever. um, I think that... And this is so crazy, but a lot of pretty girls are extremely self-conscious and insecure. Mm-hmm. It may not seem like it because on the outside we mask mm-hmm. very well. So where somebody say, "Oh, you're so beautiful," every day a woman can get a compliment mm-hmm. every day. You're so beautiful. You're so pretty, and got all these men after mm-hmm. after her wanting her. Whereas then it's like a predatory behavior instead of something more so out, um, with pure intent. Like, oh, you're so, so more, something more you. genuine. So Exactly. Not being genuine, just more predatory. Oh, she's fine. Instantly, I want to... You get what I'm saying? So, right. a lot so of my question would be, where does that... Oh, I'm, I'm listening, oh, my bad. Okay, we go through things where... We do get in relationships, of course, you know, and because mm-hmm. we are so beautiful, a lot of women that are very beautiful get into relationships with very insecure men that mm-hmm. would tear them completely down or they bend to mm-hmm. down in some type of way, even by a mama, a daddy, brother, somebody mm-hmm. young, you know, you get to people with tear beautiful women down very young, mm-hmm. just as somebody who seem ain't so beautiful on the outside, whatever you go. Do that make sense without the pretty? No, it's making Whatever. perfect sense because it, it, it so, brings me to this question of like what I want to ask you or, or well, a few seconds ago was like, mm-hmm. so that's one aspect of how that insecurity can come in. But mm-hmm. let's say this person has had the quote unquote, yet again, quote unquote, mm-hmm. perfect life, right? So mm-hmm. where does the insecurity creep in and how? Well, because to me, that's in turn. It's, I think it is too. Um, for them, I, it's hard for me to really get to that one because. I just know from my space and the women that I talk to space of mm-hmm. the brokenness we felt and how it all came about of dealing with certain men and, 
you know, mm-hmm. even women, you know, a lot, it happens in the lesbian community too. It, uh, it, it goes both ways. It's not just men out mm-hmm. here flying people wild and treating right. them like it's, it goes all ways. Whoever you decide right. to date, it happens. Um, for the ones that don't have the pretty privilege, quote unquote, I just feel like this. Everybody is preyed on. If you True. are, if you have low self-esteem, if you are so low and not content within you and happy within you and strong enough to have discernment to choose Ooh, your best path. You, were you in my live yesterday or day before? Uh-uh. That's not for Bruh, you speaking, you. you are speaking on everything we talked about this past week. Wow, this really? This is crazy. But that, really? that confirmation will keep going, keep it's going. the confirmation. Yeah, you have to have the level of discernment to say, um, nah, that, that don't seem right. Or, mm-hmm. hmm, I can probably do that. And this will probably be okay. You have to feel that. If mm-hmm. you have something that tells you, this ain't right. I shouldn't be doing this. Don't do it. So I, I, let me pause you right there. Cause, I, Cause I'm glad that I have another perspective on the very thing we've been talking about all week. So how does one, cause I, I explained my methods and my ways and my definitions of, as far as like building up discernment and building mm-hmm. up intuition. So from your standpoint, and then we go, and I see the comments, so I'm going to get to them too, but just, I want to make sure she got her time to talk. Cause she's spitting right now. But, um, what's your, what's your process or developmental mind state mind uh, set to build those things up? For me, um, I, of course, like most of us, I grew up Christian based home, but I am a spiritual woman. So I, I was it. born with a certain sense. I was born with a certain gift. It's almost like the quote unquote third eye or sixth Thanks. sense. Um, so if I get this weird feeling and I hear any type of voice over me, like, no, if it's a immediately no in my head, it's like, let me bag up. You get what mm-hmm. I try not anytime yeah, yeah. as being young. <clears throat> and I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying. Definitely. You can hear that conscious say, this ain't it. Or you get a feeling in your gut. Butterflies ain't always a good thing. Talk about Butterflies it. Butterflies is it. actually something. It's your anxiety creeping. That's why you feel flutters and you're scared. Mm-hmm. And you're like, ooh, shoot. But you're smiling because it's something new. Mm-hmm. It's something new because it's a feeling that you never felt, but it's also your sixth sense, your gift, your mm-hmm. higher self saying, this ain't it. You're, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm trying to pack you and give you these certain thrills mm-hmm. to your stomach to make you turn away because it's really something telling your conscious mind is telling you, don't do this. This is, mm-hmm. is going to put you in a bad position. Now, if right. you don't feel that, and you just feel a peace over right. you. Talk about it. I'll, I'll just, but just keep going. I'll just it's a to difference. That. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those butterflies, yeah. those flutters, is an anxious feeling, but a peaceful mm-hmm. feeling. You don't feel. You just feel serene. You feel comfortable. You feel at ease. It's a completely right. different feeling. And when you but have for clarity that, for everybody that's listening, for clarity, she said. Now she's saying that. Well, let's just take a few steps back. She said it. Those butterflies doesn't always mean good or bad you got to decipher but when she talked about the piece as well do realize that she's going through a mental and physical uh i guess you could call it like routine or process yes to or let's say a checklist before you trust that piece okay did i even feel any apprehension what do i know i'm looking around i'm thinking mm-hmm. about the situation mm-hmm. you can continue but i just had to let them you know to, just for clarity no you're so you're so right you're so right it's almost like you have to that's when people allow you to say, you know, or tell you to say, uh, tell you to go within. When you go within, mm-hmm. you tend to be able to talk to yourself. You build that real relationship between you, God, your higher Facts. self, you Facts. know, your angels and things like that. So you're you're more conscious to listen where mm-hmm. you have that discernment and to be able to decipher. It took for me to go through some things to get Mm -hmm. to the level that I am now. I just turned 35 July 30th. So What? Not you looking my age. Yeah. Wait a wait a minute. You wait, what? (laughs) I mean that's not old that's that's not old. Don't get me wrong. That's not that's not old. But it's like it's crazy how like, oh yeah, um, you say you turn 35 is like you sure Mm -hmm. you ain't 25? All right. Oh thank you. Thank you. That's what's up. 
Um, like really don't crack. So it took me years <laughs> to get here. Mm-hmm. And it took me to go through a lot of things where I have been in bad situations or I put myself in bad situations where I knew for a fact mm-hmm. I shouldn't have been there. Something told me mm-hmm. don't go there. I felt it. It was a strong right. pit. My stomach was rumbling like... And let me Ooh. interject with this. Y'all, this is why... I, not this week. We we talked more so more so on uh, constructive criticism. But last week, mm-hmm. I was talking about making sure that you go through that that process of how can I put it? You can you can vicariously learn through others. You don't necessarily have to go through something to figure something out. But in typically in our situations, because I mean I know I'm hard headed, so it's mm-hmm. like. Now I'm good at vicariously learning. Like, I'll watch somebody do something. I'll, I'll listen to these, this person going through this and what they did and how they got through it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, I, I grab those things. But I also go through things, in you know, in your own waking in life. Own. But, y'all, it's, so, it's okay to look at a situation that you're not going through, assess the situation, get an answer from it, and then move accordingly with and your life. You know, like, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the people that was doing the – the very early stages of herbology before phones and all that type of stuff, they watched enough people eat this particular poisonous berry and they're like, well, maybe I should. And that, that maybe I shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm right. So, but that. you continue. I just had to, I just had to point that out. No, you're right. Everything you're saying is so legit. It's all about um, self-awareness in any situation, whether you're going into a job, whether you're going into a relationship, getting flew out. If you're Thanks. um anything, because it's predatory behavior or malicious intent everywhere, not just in relationships. Thanks. Family can have malicious intent. Your boss. Child, you know, don't even get me started on that. Workers. But yeah. <laughs> so you have to really use your level of discernment. I know people that <clears throat> flew to see family members mm-hmm. and ended up in really, really bad predicaments. Mm-hmm. They only got you out there to fight with you. And now you're stranded out here. Right. The only Foolishness. That you have. It's the mm-hmm. same exact situations. So to me, you really have to listen to yourself. And that's mm-hmm. where you really have to just shut down the TV, shut off the phone, shut off the world around you. And you really have to ask yourself, who is good for me? What is good for me? And what do I expect from my life? It took me Big a facts. minute to get there. And before I got there, I, I was just, flowing where the wind took me, wherever mm-hmm. I was, wherever I was. As I'm most so do. They don't go. know no better. You don't know any better. You're living in oblivion. And even though oblivion is bliss sometimes, Thanks. it's detrimental. Mm-hmm. And it causes a lot of toxic behavior, dysfunctional cycles, and things that you have to deal with on your own. Nobody else won't be able to really help you with that part. And that's mm-hmm. the messed up part. And especially, like you said, if you hard hit, I was hard hit. Uh, I'm still hard hit. I'm still learning. <laughs> It'd be to like unlock. that. You know, <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. learning to unlock. And um, with that being said, I have to up. really go within and say, my choices messed me up. It wasn't nobody. nobody oh, else not accountability. <laughs> not the accountability. It was the accountability. And a lot of people, is, it's hard for them to take that form of accountability to say, mm-hmm. yeah, I did this. And I was old enough. And I and I and I knew I shouldn't have did it. Right, Alex. But I see I your request too. I'm about to let you and she. We we about to wrap it up a little bit, but, but no, you yeah, can continue. Okay. I just well, have to let know. I'm sorry. Well, okay. No, but no. Um, before no, no, you good. Before you go, I, uh, quick plug. Plug yourself. Your name, what you do, all that type of stuff. If you want to follow, you. if not, it's all good. Yes. Um. You guys can follow me. My name is uh, Queen Divine. I am a spiritual mentor. I also do energy readings, and I have my own, a few businesses I own. One of them is making candles and oils and baths. Everything is spiritual. It's to help uh, lead us on our spiritual journey and things of that nature. And I also do mentorships and amongst more things that's coming. So I would love for everyone to follow me and I I do follow back. Once I see content and see you I already followed you. I already followed you. It's it's go time at this point. (laughs) It's go time. I would love to do this again. So let's continue this. I I I try to do Monday through Fridays, but and also these this these things go on YouTube as well for all y'all that's missing on my YouTube coach Brian, same thing. But I typically do it Monday through Thursdays. I try to do Friday sometimes, but it just depends because Friday, Saturday, Sunday is my off days. You know, I try not to overwork myself. 
But uh, mm-hmm. if you definitely on here again, and, we, it. and we have that little moment, exactly. Like if we have another moment like this, I mean, now that now that I see what you own, yeah, you good. Yeah, we about to let okay. Mr. Um, Mr. Al. Oh, well, never mind that the request is gone. But I still got to get to these questions though, so I'm yeah. I'm still gonna let you go, and I'm gonna get to uh, some of these questions and comments. But y'all, please go show us some support and some love. I love when people Thank come on you. here and have amazing conversations. Blessings, everyone. Bye bye. Big big bet. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm about to scroll back up, y'all. And y'all know me. I normally don't leave my little spot, but I had to. That was once I started seeing the request coming through, I was like, all right, we got to get to it. Damn, y'all, well, y'all was doing some comment. Hold on, let me scroll back up. Uh, somebody said, if I'm depressed and anxious, how can I come out of that? It depends. I will say this. I'm not, like I said before, and thank y'all for the love. I see the hearts coming through. Thank y'all for the love. And y'all please, y'all please go show her some love. But um, I feel like it's a twofold thing. So one on one side of it, I always tell people, you know, you have to do rec, you have to acknowledge it for the imbalance that it is, whether it be hormonal or chemically. You know, so I typically don't run to um pharmaceutical products first, but oftentimes to thank y'all for the rose. I see the rose coming through. Thank you for the love. But I oftentimes tell people, let's start with the stomach because the mind and the stomach are connected. Whether we want to agree with that or not, it's been proven time and time and time again. So clean yourself out to thus clear your head while also working on yourself, flushing yourself out, detoxing yourself. They've, they've, what's the word? They've gentrified that word so much to where whenever I put stuff out here, that's like a seven, oh, get my seven day, 10 day detox protocol, PDF, blah, 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 to what people think is, is, is commercialized. And it's like, no, this is the real way, the herbal holistic way of doing it. But I would say start there and also uh, find you a therapist, you know, find you a therapist, somebody that can walk you and talk you through the process. And if that doesn't work, then, you know, if you have to get on pharmaceuticals, I really hope you don't. But if you have to do that, do that, but try as many holistic and natural ways first. Thank you for the rose, my love. Um, First, before, you know, you just, uh, I, I just, I just hate people, see people go to drugs first, you know, but I would say do that. I feel she didn't really like them that much. Are y'all still on that? Other side? <laughs> she probably didn't. If they had prior conversation on it, it should be known with the vibe. Def- exactly what we was talking about. Let me see. But he was spiteful to kick out. Yeah, that's some stuff I honestly wouldn't do. Like, like regardless of the situation, it's like, I'm going to keep it real. But, like, I'm not about to sit there like, you all the way in L.A. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I I, I wouldn't. Actually, I'm just not built like that. You know what I'm saying? Just because you ain't give me the cheeks, I ain't, I ain't built like that. In terms of the flight should have been talked about. Exactly. Beforehand. Like some adults. Because you're doing all that and flying me out and we together. <laughs> right. It's the expectancy that rules. Okay. 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 First of all, chat. Y'all, y'all vibe today is already on 10 like it was yesterday. I'm loving the synchronicity. I, I'm loving it. Also, once again, if y'all trying to go live like she was and have a conversation, I'm, I got like maybe 10 more messages or 10 more comments to get through. But um, send a request down there. It should be somewhere right here. Send a request right there and I'll let you in. Let's see. How can we lose weight in a holistic way? Do you think fasting is the thing to do or going vegan or not eating meat anymore? So I'm going to start by saying this. I am not a biased person when it comes down to, because I'm a holistic trainer and coach. So I can either heal you or I can get you in shape in a very holistic manner. I've been doing it for seven years. And I often tell my clients this. Prime example, the formula that I developed for the seven and 10 day detox that I have on my uh, on my site at coachbrian.com, I'll click the link in my bio, really cemented itself whenever my influx of personal training clients came in and I noticed a lot of them suffered with weight loss and constipation and it's especially in my female clients so I'm one of those people that believe that if you're having a problem not even really losing or gaining weight but regulating your weight always be conscious of what you're eating always flush at least once a month and me personally, I don't feel as though, because I mean, look at bodybuilders. Most bodybuilders are not vegan at all, and they eat a plethora of meat. I'm not saying they're the healthiest, but what do they do or what do they practice that separates them from everybody else that has the hardest problem losing, maintaining, or whatever? They have a regimen. They track their food. They monitor what they eat, what times they eat, how they eat, how their body feels around the time. What can I do or what works for me due to my knowledge and experience? What works for me when I consume it that gives me the optimal level of energy to perform in the gym? Other than the other, you know, some people do performance enhancing drugs, but I'm talking about for the natural people. And even for the people that do do uh, steroids and stuff like that, because you don't just do steroids and get big. That's not how it works. You still have to work. You still have to eat and stuff like that. So I would say if you're having trouble, like definitely flush yourself out and start regulating your meals. 
start tracking out your fats, proteins, and carbs and things of that nature. Or if you want to, if you don't want to go as macro with it, go micro. Um, do your calories and stuff like that, and really go hard on like I, I I'm eighty twenty. I'm not even vegan. I used to be fruitarian. I don't really do that no more. But like like I said, I'm not biased. I don't do the extremity stuff like I used to do. But I'm eighty percent fruits and vegetables. Honestly, eighty percent really fruits, and then twenty percent meat from here and there. So it's like you got to pick and choose which battle you want to do. But I mean, there's definitely ways to do it because oftentimes weight retention is just an imbalance within the body, and you got to do what works or you got to do what gets it done. I often tell my overweight clients and just and just people that not saying that you are, but I'm just speaking in general. Oftentimes, like the people that that have these struggles and like you know they're insecure about their bodies and stuff like that, I say okay, either you're gonna own it or you're gonna fix it. You know, and they can come at me and say, I'm a, I'm an a-hole and this, that, and the third. I don't care. Either you own it or you fix it. And you fixing it may be difficult and or hard, but an obstacle is not an excuse. I'm sorry. And that's just how I am. For the longest time, I had the hardest time putting on weight. You know, like clothes not fitting me, right? Having to shop in certain sections. And I'm already tall. So it's like, I already have a problem finding certain type of clothes that fit me right. You know, but like once I started doing right, eating right, working out and stuff like that and targeting my foods, now I can actually put it like, I was way bigger than this. Once I actually learned how to actually do things properly for my body, I I was way bigger than this. But I was like, I don't like being that heavy because I run a lot. I run miles. I, I have dogs to train. You know, I play soccer. I'm playing like I'm I'm, in a, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I don't want to be that big, you know. So to each his own. Either own it or fix it, my love. But you got this. Let me see. It's the world we live in, unfortunately. Yeah. Do y'all mean the European definition of beauty? I don't think we was. I don't. Know, I think we was. I don't know. <laughs> they need the validation. We all feel it. We, that we need, yeah. The first time I seen this live, so I'm a new, I'm a newcomer. Hey, even if, even if you knew, I, that was her first time, and she, she got on the live with me. She asked questions, all of that, y'all. This is this live is every time I come on here, y'all. Three fifteen Central Standard Time, Monday through Thursday. Sometimes on Friday, you just gotta look for it. That's why you put your post notifications on. Or go back and watch the episodes on YouTube. The reason why I even do this is to get away from the content that I have to make. Like, I love putting out content. Don't get me wrong. I love informing y'all. I love the, doing the skits. I love the educational stuff, all that type of stuff. But I also love the interactions. Even if it's your first time here, interact. Because, look, we got time. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you. I never felt butterflies around loved ones or those who were good for me. Shoot. Message. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I think I'm caught up on the things real quick. Hope all is well. It sure is, especially on this side of heaven. Uh, do you think that most depression and anxiety can be resolved from making genuine physical change? It, yes. Yes. Because you got to realize, too, like we talked about, I think it was yesterday or the day before, when it comes down to certain forms of depression, some people are sad because they're not living the life that they need to live. You know, oftentimes, I think, no, that was yesterday we talked about that. We talked about vanity. We talked about... um. We talked about like how you live in a life that you think you want or what social media or the hive mind society or the pop culture is telling you is most optimal. You're trying to live that life or be with those type of people and that's not for you or that's not what you really want to do. You know, so I feel as though we oftentimes have these hurdles or we go through these conjunctions of like misaligning ourselves with who we were supposed to be in our destiny and it creates a depression. It creates a frustration. It creates a, fa a mental fall because it's like, well, I'm doing this and I'm not happy. I'm I'm doing what they say is good or what's this and the third, but I'm not happy. And not one time did you talk to yourself or you questioned or you really dealt with yourself and was like, okay, is this for me? Is this something that I really want? Like, what do I want? You know, so always look within before you compare. Comparing will hurt you in the long run. Been there, done that. Comparing, just stop comparing. Especially like when I, when I first got hurt, like... I was comparing myself to her exes and stuff like that because I finally got what I wanted. The literally the girl that I always wanted and like trying to live up to the people that, that did really well in relationship in relationships with her sexually, all that type of stuff. You know, I'm trying to out smash this one. I'm trying to out provide, you know, this, that, but I've learned that she fell in love with me for me. So I started doing me a lot more. I started putting more time into figuring myself out, you know, and growing and constructively building myself and also giving what's needed in a relationship and vice versa. And we about to make four years in what, August, September, October, November, in like three months, you know, so do you do what's best for you. And y'all know today must be different because I don't normally be getting up back and forth and moving them comments and stuff like that. But yeah. Uh, hey, coach, I finally, hey, what's up, Moonbeam? Y'all go follow Moonbeam. Y'all go follow her right now. Moonbeam. She is one of my clients and a phenomenal person. 
a phenomenal person. I can't wait till she's able to go live on here. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spill all the tea. What do you think about the woman? Oh, my bad. Hold up, wait. What do you think about the woman that suggested the probiotics they bind them so fast? I don't know what you're talking about. If you're talking about oh wait, you're talking about for weight loss and stuff like that. Um, I will I'll, I'll say this. Same thing I said yesterday. You would do better refortifying, healing, and strengthening your gut with because I don't want I don't want to crap on nobody, but to me, I'm not saying that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say how I feel. So I'm not with the probiotics and stuff like that. If you need it, if it gets to the point where you like you actually literally need it, by all means do so. But they are there are so many other ways to get your system together before you put that within your system. There's something called glutamine. You can mix that with uh, chlorophyll and liquid oxygen and make it like a little eight ounce uh, shot. Do that every morning. Follow that up with some 12 to 32 ounces of celery juice, cold press, or uh, or some uh, lime, lemon or lime water, or some coconut water, and give your gut a chance to refortify itself. And give. And here's another thing too. The reason why that stuff is buying up like that, strictly because it's tied to weight loss, is because, and it's just me being honest, most people don't do what it takes to maintenance, fix, or adjust to their body to begin with. Everybody want a quick fix. Everybody want a pill. Everybody want a product that they take, and then they're skinny or they're healthy. Because I don't know why people associate being skinny with healthy, and that's not the, that's not the case. But because you got some people that's two hundred pounds, that's way healthier than somebody that's one hundred and twenty pounds. But I will say that we live in this microwave brain society to where it's like, you know, if those things might help and fix some people, but let's not run to that first. Let's actually deal with the problem because what can you do in your basic life as far as the things that you're consuming on a day-to-day -day basis and the things you're omitting and with framing, what can you do to help the prop in a proper fashion as opposed to, let's say she sells out for good or they just, they, they take them off the market. What are you going to do? And that's how I think about it. We're going to own it or we're going to fix or we're going to fix it. An obstacle is not an excuse, no matter how big. And that's just me. Uh, let's see. All right. And I'm caught up good. And I get to sit back where I was. You say glutamine, chlorophyll, and what else? So it's, um, my bad. Yeah, I am talking kind of fast. Um, it's glutamine, uh, it's glutamine, chlorophyll, and what was the other thing? A liquid oxygen. They all come in tincture form. Uh, she said, for I'm taking those. <laughs> uh, what's up, Thinker Bell? I just realized that was you. What's happening? But, um, couple of that, like, and that's another thing too, y'all, like, Take the time, please take the time to really go, like we talked about yesterday. We dove into like the whole, thank you for the uh, the flowers, my love. Uh, we talked about eating right for your blood type. We talked about that book. And we talked about what we did and didn't agree with when it came down to that book. So uh, liquid oxygen, it's like a tincture. It's literally like um, a liquid form of like the benefits of hyper oxygenated products. So it's like they take, they take uh, I forgot exactly what the process is. But it's essentially like a shot out, like raw oxygen, and it really helps with like cellular regeneration, cardiovascular health, and things of that nature. But um, like we talked about the other day, we talked about the things that we did and didn't agree with, with when it comes down to the uh, eating right for your blood type. The book I got both copies of them, you know, and I'm one of those people. Yes, it's on Amazon. I'm. It's, it should be. Um, I don't have any because I need to go. I need to go re up. I need to get that answer more chlorophyll. All I got is my teas and, stuff and my herbs. But I haven't really been doing a lot of supplements or herbs lately. I, I've been in a really good health with my workouts and my food, so I'm pretty good. But um, it should be like a bottle about my thing. My, y'all don't know how big this stuff is, but like it should be like a little tincture bottle. It has like a white label on it, and it should be black and green wording. But um, we talked about eating right for your blood type and how those things do and don't benefit and what we do and don't agree with when it comes down to those things. You know, so I oftentimes tell tell people like. You have to do what's best for you in the most healthy way possible. Let's not chase aesthetics. We have to stop chasing aesthetics because, prime example, I had a client. She wanted to be skinny or she wanted to lose 60 pounds, 50 pounds, blah, 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 blah. I was like, how about we put you in a maintenance? So a maintenance is whenever you're trying to stay the same weight. A surplus is when you're trying to gain weight and a deficit is when you're trying to lose weight, right? I said, how about this? Give me a month. Give me a month. I said, I want to put you on a maintenance. I want to, I want you to track uh we're going to track your carbs fats and proteins a certain type of way and she, we had to come down on her fats my god but she saw 
with lowering your body fat while keeping the same weight and but increasing your muscle mass, but replacing your 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 fat with muscle, I should say, while staying the same weight, right? How much of a difference that made? When I tell you Coke bottle, when I tell you it's giving Birkin bag body, when I tell you it's giving BBL, but I didn't go to underneath the knife, like she got it together. But when you take the time to do what works before you take the, and you do what works for you in the most healthy and holistic way. As opposed to, oh, God, dog it. My bad, y'all. The uh, the phone died and the mic fell. <laughs> uh, the phone died and the mic fell. Y'all ain't that something? Uh, but that's how I know I'm saying what I'm supposed to be saying. Because, you know, everything come, everything come at you whenever you're talking about the right stuff. But whenever you're doing the things that work for you, right, and when you're doing the things that's actually meant for your betterment and for your good, that's... That's literally when everything comes together. And I saw somebody put, I need your help. If y'all want, if y'all want um any type of workouts or any type of like, I have different, three different tiers of like products that I do. So if you want to go get my detox, you can go on my site. If you want consultations, you can go on my site. I have it in there. If you want like a monthly subscription of like, you know, like me telling you what, how to eat, workout, all that type of stuff and all that type, like I have all of that. Just go to my site and then, and if you don't see something that you want, I can make it a product for you and you can just email me. You can do Coach Brian at yahoo.com. And I forgot the, uh, the other ones that, uh, Coach at CoachBrian.com. I feel like it's the other website. But I have the link in my bio, but y'all could y'all could find me. But anyways, it's like what I'm saying. Well, essentially, what I'm saying is like just make sure, make sure you're doing what you have to do to get yourself together. How did you go about becoming a holistic coach? I want to get into health and wellness. I have no degree, but I read lots of books and I'm ready. So you started how I started. You can go to uh I, it's more so herbology for me because there's many different holistic certifications you can go through. You can go through Dr. Robert Morris. You can go through like Dr. the late great Dr. Lila Africa and Mel Melanie Stevens program. You can go through Yaki Awaken. You can go through Ginger to Clue. You can this. You just gotta find a practitioner and, and go through this uh, certification program. But or you can go to Rose Hip University. That's what I do for herbology and stuff like that. And you can put those two worlds together. Now I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna cost because the books that I read and the book and the amount of money I pay for those things. I, I've spun well over two to three thousand dollars on some books. I'm not even gonna cap. Like that's how many books I have in this house. And that's on my hard drive over there. So it's gonna cost you, but and I've been i I've been doing this stuff for like seven years. So put the time in. You already reading books and you have an interest in it. Now here's what it not his I will say this. Here's a little cheat code. His was gonna separate you from the generic, you know, the generic people. And you know what I, I don't wanna down talk nobody, but you know exactly who and what I'm talking about. But what's gonna separate you from them? is oftentimes tells people, go get books about anatomy. Anatomical physiology is really what you need to focus on. And as you focus in on that and you're mixing that with, like, there's there's certain things that didn't even click in my brain properly until, well, holistically, until I studied certain parts of the human anatomy. Not saying that holistic medicine doesn't, or the, the way they teach you don't cover it, but oftentimes you'll run across certain things where it makes sense but you don't really understand it until you fully understand how this muscle moves, this gland secretes, this organ processes, this cellular whatever reconstructs and deconstructs, blah, 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 blah. So keep reading the books. Always, you always have to go above and beyond. So keep reading the books. Keep doing all of that, but still go whatever program. There's, there's plethora of programs out here, and you can literally Google it, and they all pop up. But take the time to study the anatomy and the physiology of anatomy, and then you tie that into herbs and all that type of stuff. And depending on which direction you want to go, if you want to be more of like a healer healer, you can do what I'm doing. You can study more on the herbal side and then migrate that into the holistic remedy side. Because my biggest thing was I, I started in chemistry and biology, and then I grew into anatomy. Then I went into uh, herbs, and then I came back into holistic remedy. So I tied it all together like that. But if I would have did it in the other or the, and that's just me. I mean, some a different process may work for you, but I know for sure I know what I struggle with at certain parts in my career. And I notice and I know certain parts that I should have been more keen to this or sharp in this area in relation to healing this person with this. Cause ain't nothing, bro, y'all, ain't nothing like doing your job and somebody presents to you a certain type of problem that you've healed before, but this particular remedy or cycle isn't happening based off of the calculations and all that type of stuff. And literally that 0 0.5, 0 0.26, 0 whatever amount of information 
whether it be physiology or how it be how those things work to where it, it comes down to like that particular organ or whatever can literally save you months worth of headaches. I didn't been there. You know, so just take the time to go above and beyond and you'll be good. It's a process. I'm not going to sit there and sugarcoat it like it just happens in a week. It doesn't. It doesn't even happen in a month. You know, but just like you would go get your degree, like take your time and study this stuff and study as much as you can and then you'll be good and practice. You got this. Hey, guys, I got a jet. Someone take notes and share them to me, please. Once again, all of this stuff goes to, hey, Miss Taylor, all of this stuff goes on YouTube. You can go to Coach Brian on YouTube. I'm about to shut down anyway. My, my phone, I just realized my phone about to die. And my little split charger thing is nowhere to be found. But um, go go to uh, CoachBrian.com. I'm not going to .com, Lord. Go to YouTube and type in Coach Brian. And it's literally on there. Like, you can't miss it. I, now, the episode from the other day, it just finished rendering. Reasons why it wasn't up this morning. But because uh, I typically have them about this that the same night or the next morning, and one and another one of them, my hard drive had corrupted the file for whatever reason. I don't know what happened. So and I was not about to post that raggly little version of the episode. I'm not about to do it to myself. I'm trying to as I post, I'm trying to get the quality up, up, up. I'm not trying to go backwards. But um, if y'all want to see it or whatever, just go back on uh on what you call it on YouTube and type in my name, Coach Brian, and then all my stuff will pop up. You can't, you literally can't miss me. I look like this. This is me. This is my face. This is my body. I don't Photoshop myself, so you can go on my YouTube. Y'all know my colors, but that's not my favorite color, but my brand color is red. Find me, and y'all going to see episode after episode after episode, even stuff that was before I got on TikTok, you know, when I was younger trying to, you know, so, like, just do y'all thing. Go do y'all research. But my phone is about to die, and we've done almost an hour, and I don't know if I'm coming on tomorrow. I'm going to try. I honestly want to because I ain't going to lie. These lies been popping. Like, y'all been between the people, the con like, y'all just been dope. This is by far one of the best live audiences I've ever had in the, what, six months I've been on TikTok, I want to say six, seven months. But I do bid y'all do because the last thing I want my phone to do is die and then I lose the, the recording or they say I'll corrupt it and blah, blah, blah again. But y'all have a good one. I hope y'all have a blessed remainder of the day. Once again, I will try to come on tomorrow. If not, just look for my content. Y'all go like, y'all go share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I now have the... um. The uh, TikTok subscription thing, too. I have, like, the Super Chats, the VIP section and stuff like that. I think it's, like, 4 or $5 or something like that. So y'all can support me in that way if y'all want to. Y'all can go to my shop, whatever. Find a way to get in touch. Find a way to get involved and find a way to bless others and bless yourself. But y'all be good, man. Praise God.